God of War. First and foremost, want to give all praise, glory, honor, do unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakadash, that were honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Coming back at you with another lesson where basically part two of the of uh Eve's kingdom is coming to an end. It's gonna be the second part. You know, like I said, it's a lot for the first part, you know, to they don't have a phone call came in and it not and it's knocked out the lesson prematurely. So it's a lot for that and my apologies. But let's get on with the lesson. You know, we're gonna we're gonna start off with Revelation twelve and twelve. We're going to pick up and there see how the Spirit is going to lead. You know, this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he had for the short time. And these devils know that they have a short time to carry out their plans. And, and, and what's going on? You see prophecy is coming to pass. You're seeing that, that the prophecies are coming to pass. You're seeing that Yahweh Bashim Shah is speeding things up upon the earth. You're seeing judgment going forth because of the men of the Lord that are out on the highways, byways, prophesied the downfall of this society of America, Babylon the Great. And, and also prophesying the downfall of this, of this uh, kingdom kingdom of Esau Edom. Now you got these devils, you know, they're mad, they're upset, you know, they're pissed off because of the fact of the matter that their time is short. You know, even though that that they been you know they've been ruling over us for, for over five hundred plus years, causing us to be in oppression, you know, cause causing us to continue to and it caused us to continue to disobey the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shah. And, and the devil, and the, the devil want, they want us to continue to be at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? They want us to continue to go off and not be one with our power. But that's the reason why these devils are mad and upset because they know that they only have but a short time to carry out their agenda. Which we know that Job, or I believe it's uh, 14 and 5. I believe Job 5 and 12. You know, let's just get it. You know, I, I don't want to put you to scripture because we, you know, you understand the scripture. You understand that the Most High is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. The crafty, I believe, is Job 5 and 12. You know, it's a lot for them. Yeah, here it is. This is Job chapter 5, verse 12. And it reads, he di disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And, and, and these devils uh, are going to be disappointed by Yahweh by Shiva al Shah. And this is talking about their new world order that these devils want to get off the ground. And, and what they want to do is that they, they want Israel, you know, mainly the elect of Israel, you know, particularly all of Israel. You know, to be disconnected from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's the reason why they're making this uh, mad scene to alter your DNA, to, to alter your genes. So that way they could, they could get out their God particle out, out of the house of Israel because, you know, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah had made a gene, you know, for the Israelites to be connected with him. And that's the reason why you got. Uh, Israelite, you know, they, they they worship, you know, they, you know, they worship, you know, but even though they, you know, the majority, the two-thirds don't know what they worship, but, you know what I'm saying, that gene was, you know, the gene is in, in, in you know, in Israel to worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? And and, and, that de and the devil wants to take that, extract that gene out of the children of Israel, so that way that that the children of Israel don't call upon the name of the Lord, and also the children of Israel will will uh, uh you know basically look to Him as, as their power, and, and you 
And it's sad to say, you got two thirds of our people, they look to this man, uh, you know, as they God, you know. And that's what the devil wants. He wants to be God. He wants to be Yahweh Shah. He wants to be the most high. That's the reason why he, he's trying to link man with machine. That's the reason why he's trying to, uh, uh, you know, you know, take away the God part. Because that's the reason why everything that Yahweh Shah made and, 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 you know, and said that it's good. You know, the devil wants to reverse everything. He wants to do the, the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? He, wa he wants to be the most high. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he's trying to mimic Yahweh by Shem al But we know that's going to be to no avail. And the devil is doing this in a, you know what I'm saying? He was doing it at a very slow pace because these judgments, these, these uh, uh, prophecies won't, won't come to pass like they are now. You know what I'm saying? The devil believed that he had all the time in the world to slowly carry out his plan. But now he's seeing that the judgment is coming up on the earth. He see, he's seeing that the plagues that, that's hitting the earth and he's seeing that he's being exposed on every level. Now he now he now he has to be forced to 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 uh, speed up his plans, to speed up what he's trying to do. And he and, and you know what I'm saying? And now the devil's starting to become sloppy. You know, they become sloppy in what they do. Because they know that, you know, the, the biggest sign of their downfall is the prophets, the prophets out on the highways and byways, bringing out the word of Yahweh by Shem al Shah, and also prophesying the downfall of his kingdom. And they know that this is just a telltale sign that their king, kingdom is coming to an end. And that's the reason why the devil is going to come down with great wrath. That's the reason why the devil is, is, is going to, you know, start passing more draconian laws. And do not be surprised when you, if you start to see martial law troops start posting up in your neighborhoods. And, and, and you see martial, martial law troops start posting up, uh, setting up checkpoints and all these other things. Because the devil is going to come down with that great wrath, and also what what really uh, make the devil upset that a lot of people are not complying with taking this taking this vaccine. You know what I'm saying? Because they they basically saying that you know that they they saying that it, it's it's uh, optional right now, but sooner or later it's going to come to the point like it is in Israel that they're going to. Uh, they're gonna make this thing mandatory that you are gonna have to take the vaccine. If you don't take the vaccine or you don't have that green card like it is in Israel, you're not gonna have any type of privilege. You know what I'm saying? Even in in, in Israel, you know they basically, you know, if you ain't got that green card, you don't get special type of privilege showing that you took the vaccine. And a lot of people, in in, in particular over here in Babylon, great. They gonna they you know they gonna comply and they're gonna take the vaccine because these people, are, you know, what I'm saying they want their quote unquote normal way of life. And what's the normal way of life? You know they 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 want the things to go back to normal. But get what things ain't gonna never go back to normal here in Babylon the Great because get what these devils gonna still continue to be the devil. They gonna still continue to make your life a living hell. They're gonna to continue to make your life miserable. And, and get what? They're gonna pass more strict and draconian measures. And all this is going to link up with the uh, mark of the beast, you know what I'm saying? Which is the RFID microchip with prophesied of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 on down to 18. You know what I'm saying? That you, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell, you know, say that you have the mark of the beast or the number of it now, you know, roughly paraphrase them. Because these devils have a short time and, and, and these devils are gonna push it, all their agendas out as much as possible. Because what they want to do, they they, they want to uh they want everybody to they want everybody to be coming upon them. They want everybody to serve them. You know what I'm saying? And and sad to say a lot of people are gonna take the chip. A lot of people are gonna take the vaccine. Why? Because they they want they just basically want to live a quote unquote normal life, 
and, and these people are not going to try to fight for anything. They they're going to bow to the system. They 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 going they they going to uh they going to say Esau stay Lord because they they don't trust in Yah by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? They don't trust in him at all. And, and, and a lot of people, they're going to give up hope, especially among the Christian church. You know a lot of them are going to take the vaccine because their pastor is going to tell them that it's okay to do so. And they're going to bow down and they're going to cowtail to this man's sister. And, and, and you're seeing that going on now. You have people go, be on Facebook talk, you know, talking about, you know, they took the vaccine and, you know, they had, you know, certain side effects. But you know what I'm saying? They still trusting in this man's system. You know what I'm saying? And then and then they get mad at you because you're not you're not complying to that man's system. You're not taking a vaccine. You know what I'm saying? They look at you as the problem, but they but they don't realize it's going to be very very serious adverse side effect coming at, with taking that vaccine. When you take that vaccine, you know what I'm saying? You basically uh, giving an indication that you you for this man's sister, and and this man, he gonna and the man gonna pass strict to draconian law. He gonna he gonna make he gonna make people life a living hell because that's what this man's about. He he not about you know, uh, making sure the people straight. He don't care about the people. You know what I'm saying? He cares about. He only cares about his agenda, and his agenda is to wipe out a oh, uh, majority of the population reduced to 500 million you know as they said in, in one of YouTube videos back in thing like 2013 or something like that you know your brother can correct me on that it was a while a long while ago that that, that uh you know Bill, Bill Gates of hell said that the uh the earth was overpopulated and, and it has to be brought down to over 500 500 million because why, why they want to do that? Because having that, uh, having about f having 500 million people gives them control of all the earth, man. And that's what it's really all about. They want to control the whole world and they want to be the most high. You know what I'm saying? And they only have a short time to do these things. And, and, and what, what really make them mad because the word is gone forth. And, and 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 don't be surprised, you know, you Israelites, you saw how blast Latinos, Native Americans. Do not be surprised that devil's gonna link link our people up to all types of hate crimes, all types of terrorist act, acts, and all these things. And and he's gonna make it so that he justified justified in doing it because he gonna he, he gonna look at you know the men of the Lord, which are the prophets. That are on the street prophesying the downfall of his kingdom, and 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 he gonna look at that as a terrorist act. He gonna cry, he gonna cry and said that 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 is a terrorist act, and he's gonna look to persecute the children of Israel, and particularly who he wants to go after is the men of the Lord that are on the highways, byways teaching, and that are bringing this word, that bring these scriptures out day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? And, and he wants to kill them, and he wants to take them out the planet. He wants to try to get the men of the Lord to, you know, to uh, bow down to his system, to cowtail to to his uh to his beliefs, his ideologies, and 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 to his way of life. And you know that the men of the Lord, which you know they're part of the elect, you know, Yahweh willing, they're not going to bow down to this system. Call you how about Shimei Al Shai is gonna come back and say the elect of Israel, and you, you know part of the elect, you know what I'm saying you, you, most high is gonna give you the, the strength, he gonna give you the, the spirit to not bow down and our cowtail to this man's system, no matter how uh, things may look, you know what I'm saying you're not gonna bow down to this man's system, you're gonna continue to. Uh, do the work of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, you're going to continue to stay steadfast in the name of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And that's the reason why the devil is mad because he knows that by us waking up and repent and coming back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, you know what I'm saying? Now, now that forces the devil to be sloppy in his work. 
and, and the devil is showing his hand. He doesn't care anymore because he used to hide it and hide it pretty well. But the spirit of Yahweh by Shepherd Al Shah has exposed this man on every level. And now he's mad and upset. And he's going to come after, you know, you Israelites. Let's read Revelation chapter 12, verse 13. And it reads, And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted one which brought forth the man child, meaning that this man is going to be cast, you know, this man is going to be cast out of rulership. You know what I'm saying? Also, meaning that, that this man is, uh, you know, he's seeing that he, he losing power, he losing influence. You know what I'm saying? He, lo he losing the respect of the people. You know, the people not trusting in, in the devil anymore. And he's being cast down and he's being accused. Before you how about Shimei Al Shah for the things that he has done and, and what that does that caused his devil, which is Esau Edom, to be pissed off. And and now he's going out after uh the Israelites, you know, the so called black Latino Native Americans. He's coming after you because he's looking at, at you know what I'm saying, you are the threat, you know, particularly the elect of Israel, you are the threat to this man's new world order. You are a, a threat to this man's kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he's mad and he's upset. And what he's doing, you know, as it's saying in the scripture, he, you know, he cast not, you know, he cast out, uh, uh, he cast not all these different types of doctrines, all these different type of ideologies to trying to keep, keep, keep you Israelites in a dumbed down and dead state. You know what I'm saying? He wants he want you to, to remain in the congregation of the dead. You know what I'm saying? Because, because this man is going to use every trick he, he know in the book to try to keep you Israelites at the bottom because he does not want you to wake up. He does not want you to repent. He does not want you to come back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? He does not want you to come back to, to uh, to this truth, man. And, and if you read uh, Revelation chapter uh, 12 and verse 14, let's read it. And it reads, And to the woman he was given two wings of a great eagle, that she may fly to the wilderness, and, and to a place where she had nourished for, for, for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And that place is these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Because having these scriptures, it gives us comfort. And we see what's going on in the earth. We're seeing that the devil coming with all types of, of, of uh, false doctrines. He coming with the, all the heavy healers, the, the false prophets, all these things. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, uh, uh, he come with all types of, of uh, wickedness to try to keep you Israelites at the bottom. And in order for you to even escape to have comfort, it's in these scriptures. To be nourished by the spirit of Yah by Shem Al Shah through these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And by us waking up and repenting, coming back to Yah by Shem Al Shah and believing in his word, which are the scriptures, you know, it gives us comfort because Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6 said that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. You know what I'm saying? Because these scriptures gives us stability. It gives us comfort. Knowing that that uh, the, the devil coming down with his wrath and by us going to revert to the scriptures and, and studying the scriptures, it gives us it gives us comfort. When we know that the devil is going to come down with wrath, we know he's going to come be upset. But we also, in the power of spirit, Yahweh by Shem al Shah, we know that we know the devil's end game and his end game that he's gonna be taken out of power according to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Because because being in these scriptures it gives us comfort. And we know that, that these things gonna to have to come to pass. But the end game of it all is that the devil's gonna be taken out of power and that Israel is gonna be the kingdom of heaven is gonna be set up, you know. By you know through Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, you know through the uh, through the throne of David, you know through the twelve apostles and the the elect, and then then follow that the rest of Israel, man. 
you know what I'm saying? The Israelites are going to rule in the kingdom. But let's continue on. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a, as a flood after the woman that he may cause her to carry the way of the flood. And that water is talking about all these different types of uh, ideologies, different religions, different types of wicked agendas. And, and he casting all these things at, at the men, women, and children of the Israelites, you know, typically the elect of Israel, hoping that the hoping that uh, that they're going to be carried away, you know what I'm saying? That that, that they're going to uh, that they're going to uh, uh, that, you know what I'm saying? That they're going to be car carried away. That they're going to be caught up in these different doctrines, so that way that they could sin and go off uh, against uh, their power. You know what I'm saying? And that's what these devils want. They they want us to continue to sin and go off, so that way. Yahweh by Shimei Asha would not deliver us, and also that way, um, that way that they could, to, could that they could continue to be on top, that they could continue to to uh, 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 rule over us in wickedness. You know what I'm saying? That what these devils want to do. They want to continue to rule over us in in wickedness. You know what I'm saying? They continue to want us to be at the bottom. To be a, a perpetual slave, and that was all about. You know, what I'm saying every reason why they 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 even use you know Uncle Tom Jakes, you know these these Christian these so-called Christian Jakes, to try to stop the word from going forth because that this word is like fire, it's cutting them up, it, it's tearing tearing their kingdom to shreds, it's tearing them to pieces. That's the reason why they mad and upset, and they sending all types of heavy healers to try to. To try to stop the truth from going forth, you know what I'm saying? And and that water is all these different uh, doctrines, you know what I'm saying? Because these, because this serpent, which is which is the devil, which is Esau, even so called white man, wants to stop this truth. And he's gonna do it by any means necessary, and it's gonna come to the point that he he's gonna go as far. It 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 it, it you know it's persecution. You know what I'm saying? To stop this truth from going forth, to stop the elect, try to stop the elect to uh, uh, being delivered. we being delivered. But let's continue. This is on Revelation 12 and 16. And the earth helped, helped the woman, and the earth opened up, opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And that, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 this, and that's the scripture. You know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, it opened up, you know, your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you won't be deceived by what's going on, what the devil's doing. You know what I'm saying? And, and open up, you know, your, the earth is your mind, you know, you, 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 to get this wisdom, get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And, and, and it's going to swallow up all these false doctrines that the devil continues to spew out. And you, you know, through the power of spirit, you have about Shema Osha, you'll be able to see, you know, what the devil was doing. You'll be able to see right through what he's doing. And you won't be easily caught up in there, like, you know, like a lot of people that are in the earth today that doesn't have the spirit, you have about Shema Osha. You know, saying that woman is Israel. But, you know, it's mainly talking about the, the elect because the elect is going to be protected from all these things that are coming upon the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? All these false doctrines, all, all the wicked agenda that this devil's doing, you know, the the uh elect of Israel is gonna be protected, you know, you know, by these scriptures and by the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, they're gonna be protected. And that's the reason why when the devil constantly come out with more and more false doctrines and come out with more and more wicked agendas, you know, uh the elect is not gonna be phased by it, man. You know what I'm saying? They 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 gonna continue to call upon the name of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And that's the reason why next script said that the dragon was wrath, and we're gonna go ahead and get it. Revelation 12 and 17. And it reads, Then the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went make and went to make war with the remnant of a seed, which kept the commandments of Yahweh and had a testimony of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach. And the devil and the dragon will rock. Why that dragon? Who's the dragon? That's Esau, so called white man, which is the devil. He will rock with Israel, you know, man, and the elect of Israel. Why? 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 
uh, why had Esau Edom and brought with the children of Israel? Because the elect of Israel is, is, is calling upon his repent and calling upon the name of Yahweh by Shem and and they And they're coming back to their senses, knowing who they are and knowing, and knowing what they need to do. Because the spirit of Yahweh by Shem and Shah has stirred up the elect of Israel, waking our people up, you know, waking our people up. You know, having our people to repent, having our people call upon the correct name, which is Yahweh, which is the Father, and Yahweh Shah, which is the Son. You know, that's the reason why you hear every brother when they do lesson, they say Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, meaning that Yahweh is the name of the Father, which the word in it calls God. Baha Shem is, is in the name of Yahweh Shah, is, is the name of the Son, which the word in it calls Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying they calling upon the, 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 the correct names and the devil did everything that they could to try to it's out those names you know out of the out of uh, the mouth of Israel that reason why they gave you the name God and Jesus Christ because they didn't want you to know the true names of the heavenly father and the son which is Yahweh and the son's name is Yahweh Shah. they didn't want you to know those names and that's the reason why this devil is mad because now, now uh, the spirit of the power of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah through his servant the prophet. You know what I'm saying? When we heard the name, they instantly, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us woke up. You the new know, message has arrived. Uh, oh, uh, um, a lot of us had woken up, you know, when we heard those names. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and we woke up when we heard those names and we, and we repented. So like when we and we repented and coming back to ya to to our heritage, come back to who we are. And and, and by us doing that, that, that's an indication that the devil knows that his kingdom is coming to an end. And that's the reason why the that's the reason why the devil, the dragon and wrath, which is he's all eating, he's wrath with Israel. And how he's gonna make war, he 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 sent out false prophets, he sent out false teachers to try to try to dethrone the true word of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah and saying that this is hate speech, you know, this is treason, you know, so on and so forth. And he and, and he he doing that through through uh his false prophet first, but and he's gonna realize that what he's doing is gonna be to no avail. So get what he's gonna do according to Revelation twelve twelve. He's gonna come down with that great wrath, meaning that he's gonna physically come down with the sword to to, to just basically mold Mow the Israelite down, you know, you know, you so-called Black Latino Native Americans because he knows that his uh, his media machine and he knows that his false prophets and, and all his his uh, enchantments and his witchcraft, he realizes that these things are not working against the men of the Lord against the men, women, and children of Yahweh by Shem and So he's basically he's gonna come down with that sword because because he knows that. That, that his agenda is not working. He knowing he knows that uh that the plan that he has to try to keep Israel at the bottom, he realized that it's not working. And the truth is it's it's spreading like wildfire and it's and they're going forth throughout the earth. And and this and this devil is mad. You know what I'm saying? He mad that Israel waking up. So he's gonna come down with that wrath. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna come he's gonna persecute the nation, but his main agenda, who he wants to get rid of, is you Israelites, man. You know, particularly the elect of the house of Israel, but because he knows, they know that your house side won't come back he, and he's going to deliver the elect. He's not going to deliver all of Israel. He's going to only deal, deliver the elect, which was chosen from the foundation of the world. And the devil knows that. That's really why he's coming with all these false philosophies. He's speeding up this uh, map scene process and he introducing this mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. And he's going to make it mandatory for you to, for, for everybody to take that chip. Because if you don't take that chip, not only you, you, you will get killed. If you don't take the chip, you won't be able to function in this society. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to buy or sell. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to do anything without that chip. And that and that what they that, that what they want to do with the mass scene. You know what I'm saying? If you don't if you ain't got that green card, you know, 
think that you sip the vaccine, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do anything. And that's what these they want to do. They want to make life for for you just as hard and just as greedy as possible because they want you to bow to their system. And even if you bow to their system, if you go if you bulk up against it, like, like I said, you get the the RFID microchip. You bulk up against their system. Guess what they're gonna do? They can just go in and shut off your chip. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what they don't want. They want to be your high by shimmy outside. They want to be the most high. And, and the devil knows that he has a short time. And we know if those wake just wake up and true understand that that we're living in a time of wickedness. You know, Joe 9 24 said that the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And who's the wicked? And the wicked is uh Esau Eden, so called white man. This is his this is this is his rulership. You know what I'm saying? This is his time to rule. And and it's and it's and it's and it's uh and it's and it's winding down. You know, like you know, El Apostle said the devil was on borrowed time pretty much. You know what I'm saying? He, he's on borrowed time. You know, only reason why he's on bar time right now because Yahweh Bashim Al Shah has given us, you know, given us a grace period within a grace period to get ourselves together. Because once Yahweh Bashim Al Shah pour out his judgment judgment upon all the earth, you know, that's that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's a wrap. It's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? You know, because he's given us the time now to get ourselves together. He giving us the time not to repent and come back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah before he take the devil out of power, before he take down this man's kingdom. You know? And, and, and it is what it is, man, because second heirs of chapter six, verse nine say Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of their following. They're talking about Esau is gonna be the end, it's gonna be the end of this man's rulership. And when Yahweh shall come back, Esau Edom is gonna be the one that's ruling. And he's gonna take this man out of power. We're gonna take this man out of rulership. And once he takes this man out of rulership, then then the kingdom of heaven, which is gonna be ruled by by the Israelites, you know, start with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and, and King David, and then the twelve apostles, and then you're gonna have the uh then you're gonna have 144,000, you know, with you know, with all the men, you know, we start with the let men first. And then you had the women and children, and then you had the rest of Israel. You know what I'm saying? But uh, nevertheless, though, this man's rulership is coming to an end, and he has a short time, and he knows that. That's the reason why he he's angry. That's the reason why he he's going he's going he's going out and trying to deceive the nations to stop your house shot from coming back. You know what I'm saying? That means why they got his space for it because these he, he devil know that y'all shot coming back. And 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 all these chariots saying that's going on. These the devil know what time it is, man. And that's the reason why. Uh this 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 man's kingdom is coming to an end. He knows his time is up, he knows that his time is short. And and so, you know what I'm saying? The Most High is going to disappoint his devices, man. He's going to think he got a new world oil off the ground. He's he going to think everything, he got everything in control. He's going to think that your house shot is uh, not coming back. But guess what? Your house shot is going to, is going to uh, cast him down in the wrath while he's eating, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? He's going to think he's in good case. He's going to think that he has everything under control. And you how about Shem Al Shah gonna smold him, man? And he's gonna and he's gonna cast him down. And, and he's gonna disappoint the devices of the crafty. You know what I'm saying? For your brothers and sisters out there that's in the truth, to continue to hang in there, continue to study and continue to be prayed up. Because your salvation is on the way. And your house shot is coming back to take this devil out of power. And and he knows that. That's the reason why he's coming down with that wrath, because he knows that his time is almost up. And I pray that this lesson was edified. Uh, and with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rukakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, Yahweh willing, Shalom, a Bible ball. 
and Kwame Yasharala. Shalom.